okay, people's voices, well, for, shall we say, the period of 1st of June to the 31st of January 2014 are out. I'll leave a link below, the hilarious, however, a lot of my comments are the exact same as the last time, not enough information. All you're doing is, is just giving, oh, we spent this on this. Who did you give it to? What are the numbers? How much did you pay them? Where does it fit into the total number? We don't know, because you've got one thing of direct subcontractors and you've spent £163,000 on direct subcontractors and you've spent £42,000 on direct expenses. What are these expenses? Don't say, even, there's even one. On general and admin expenses, £11,000. What, seriously, what are you spending it on? And this, this is the one that makes me think this is absolute, complete bull. Because at the moment, there is nothing that says electricity. Now, if you've ever worked, or even been in a TV studio, when it's in operation, you will know full well how warm it gets in the stu in the studio because of the lights and the lights in the TV studios eat a heck of a lot of juice. So how the hell have you only managed to get away with paying a hundred and twenty-five pounds for light and heat? I don't know, but that's absolutely hilarious. The one, the other thing that again. It, should be raising questions and what 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 is this exactly US acquisitions trip and US production costs and I'll let the clock finish Armity <laughs> there <laughs> okay right um yeah the, according to this, the US acquisition strip and the US production cost, the combined total is about 14,000, well, probably more than that, probably about 15,000 pounds. I've never heard of this. If someone has any information about what the hell they went to, to do in America, because, again, that's, again, money potentially wasted. And then travel costs. I said this right from the beginning. Again, in my last video, a couple of videos, they've spent £14,000 on travel costs bringing people to London. When I said, I've, I said in my very, one of my very first videos about the people's voice, why they fail, they're in London and they're bringing people into London. What's wrong with Skype? You've done it before. Seriously, what is wrong with getting these people on Skype? Because, sorry, most of these people that you bring in are absolutely ludicrous they're not even worth bringing in into the studio and paying for their you know accommodation costs because you've got to think you've probably got to bring them down on the friday so you've got hotel costs on the friday then you're going to bring them in on on the sunday on the on the saturday depending when they might may or not may on may or not even go home so you might have the saturday night to pay for as well so that is a heck of a lot to to do that. And then, one of the reasons, again, why are they failing? They've only spent close, yeah, £2,923 on advertising. Sorry, that is an absolute pitiful amount. That's absolutely god-awful. I know a number of small businesses owners, and I am one myself, and I'm sorry, but for what operation you have and potential audience you could gain to th about close to about three thousand pounds in advertising is awful is terrible you know no wonder no no none of the other you know advertisers are jumping on to to advertise with you because you're not even advertising yourselves to get viewers coming in i mean i'm sorry but that is god awful no wonder you're failing. And again, this is income from advertising. So 
I've been wondering how many advertisers they had and what are these people paying for. They made, this is how much money they made, not including donations, they made £16,000. Again, the general admin costs, which we now know are around 50, I'd say probably about £60,000. You couldn't run this TV station on that. And this is why, again, they cannot rely on donations. And then this is donations they've got according to this, and this is including all their Kickstarter starters they had, not the third one. But just, I think it's just the first two this includes. Are uh, £4,700. Well, 4700 No, £400,701. That's ridiculous. That's donations. Sorry, you cannot run a business unless you are a social enterprise based on donations. That is awful. And you've set yourselves out from the very beginning. As soon as you said, oh, we can't have, um, we can't be a, a social enterprise or a charity because, you know, you want to sprout whatever you want and you'd be basically pretty much taken off the air instantly. Um, yeah, you want to be a business, and you failed as a business, and people have foolishly kept on pumping money into you to get you to, for you to stay afloat. And there's so much entries on here. You know, computer expenses, £6,000. What? There are the computer expenses, repairs, repairs and renewals. What are you repairing, and what are you renewing for? You know, a thousand pounds. Sundry expenses. What are the sundry expenses? You spent about two thousand five hundred pounds on this. What are these sundry expenses? You spent seven thousand pounds on legal fees. Did someone sue you? What? What did they? You know, what did they do? And here's the kicker. A hire of equipment. I thought you were buying all your equipment. I had no idea you were hiring stuff in. You spent £16,000 on that. You know, what was the money, first money used for in the place? And this is the thing, as you know, they've now moved from their purpose-built studio, which, according to this, um, they spent £166,000 on that studio. Not including probably others that are, uh, that go into that in there. That money has been completely wasted because they didn't even have it for about six months, and now they've moved. It's gone. Oh, bye. So that money has just been flushed down the toilet. Sorry, but the people's voice is just a poorly run business and these accounts quite frankly prove it.